this is Jamie Maggert. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to be using the Menagerie Mix-Up um, bundle. The Menagerie Mix-Up stamp set. All I'm going to be using is the eye. And then the dies, Menagerie dies. And I'm going to be making a little elephant. So let's get started. Um, all you're going to need is a piece of gray cardstock. In this instance I chose gray granite because it's a slightly warmer gray so I like to do live things in a warmer color um, but there's very there's quite a few grays that you can choose from and this piece started as two and three quarters by four and a quarter and then I recommend the very first thing that you do is cut off a quarter inch strip so you can use part of that for your nose unless you want to use the um, candy cane which works but it makes a little bit fatter of a nose so whichever one you prefer okay you're going to need to die cut this piece twice this piece twice, this piece once, this piece once, and then either the candy cane once or this strip which is a half an inch. And you can cut all of that out of that two and three quarter by four and a quarter inch piece. And the reason for that is because when I cut out the candy cane, I don't want all of this curve. I just want part of it. So I put it on here in a place where part of it would have been cut off anyway. Okay, so let's get started. You're also going to need some dimensionals and um, some decorations, whatever ones you'd like to use. In this instance, I just die cut some little holly leaves out of some paper that I had. And my sister had given me these stickers for Christmas, so I figured I'd go ahead and use those. So I'm going to bring in some dimensionals. First thing I'm going to do is turn one of these over. I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of one side of it. I'll take those off. I'm going to mount those together. Now you're not going to give yourself much of an overlap, maybe a quarter of an inch, an uh, eighth of an inch. Like that. Let me bring it up so you can actually see it. Okay. So if you want to put another dimensional on the back of this side, you could do that. Might as well. So he's got a little bit more. Oh, sorry, I'm on a camera. So you could put them on one side of the one and on the other side of the other. Okay. Now we're going to bring in this piece. I'm just going to bring in a stamp and pierce mat for a minute. And there's a set of eyes that comes in the set. You can stamp that like it is. They were a little too far apart for my liking. I literally just drew them on with a marker. And I'm going to go ahead and just ink up. I'm just inking up one eye. So I can put the one eye on. It's literally basically in the center of this um, shape. the other eye on. Those are probably a little bit too close together, but and then I took a marker and I wanted a few eyelashes. I don't know why, I just think a few little eyelashes and I just drew a couple little eyelashes. Okay, that's all the stamping I'm going to do. And then I'm going to bring this piece back in. And then I'm going to put dimensionals here. 
just one right there. Now this little face is going to go on with the wider side at the bottom. Nope, I did that upside down. It's gonna, I should have put the lashes on the other side. It's alright. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make those eyes larger. My marker. So you can't tell. So the wider part is the top. Okay, so don't make that mistake. Make the wider part the top. Take this dimensional back off. Now this is going to go quite low. Um, you don't want to see the humps, but you're just below the humps. Like that. Okay. Now these two pieces are going to become the ears. They're the same. If you you would need to turn one over and um, you might want to take your bone folder well, so I can't find my good one and just rub the back a little bit because it makes an impression from the um, die if you don't want that to show and we're going to glue them so that the tiny side is down and those will go just behind the head here so you don't need a lot of glue for this. You can either use a glue dot. I'm just going to use a little bit of my multi-purpose glue. And you want it to be up just a little bit. Actually, that's backwards, too. I just happen to realize you, you want them to be this way so that the point, there's a long side, it's almost like a triangle. This edge of the triangle is the part we're going to be gluing. I'm looking at it, something isn't right here. Sorry about that. All right, it looks cute either way. The other way, it looks like dog ears though. There you go, that gives the elephant ear shape. Okay, so this one, Needs to flip over. All right, and this is the piece we want to glue. There we go. And you'll see on this one, I did them the other way, and. I like him, he's cute, but this looks more like an elephant ear. Okay, now I'm going to bring in um, a piece of that quarter inch strip that I did. And this is one and three quarters inches long. And I'm going to bring in my snips. And I just rounded one end just a little bit. And then on the other end, I made like a little upside down M or I don't know if you can see that. Basically just for the um, tip of the elephant nose. Okay, and this is going to get glued on with the tiny dimensional. a little bit sideways. This is a little bit long. You could make it shorter if you want it flat. My thinking was if I did it like this and I took my bone folder and I curled it a little bit I could take a candy cane and a glue dot and candy cane uh, let's see take something that would be about the same size as a candy cane like a candy cane, uh, uh, glue, 
a candy cane in there for decoration. Basically, that's the basic elephant. He's really very easy. You just got to remember which way to put your head and which way to put those ears. And then we're going to decorate him. So I have, um, in this instance, let's do it with, uh, let's put a package in his nose this time. Bring in a scrap of Whisper White, a Memento ink, and ink that up. Go ahead and stamp it. There is a die to cut this out, and I'm going to do the hat that's in it as well. Might as well, while I'm at it, do the can of cane. What I was thinking of was a real can of cane, but I'll show you with this paper one. on me. Let's bring in a red marker. That's all I need. This is real red. Nope, that's no one mambo. That's Poppy Parade. There we go, real red. And these are um, cherry cobbler. Okay. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to use a little end. I'm going to go ahead and color this. This is the dark. So I'm just going to do a little bit around the edge here. The dark on that one. I'm going to come in with the light. Fill it in. You could just color it all with the light. Okay, and this one, let's just fill color in the this part red. And make it look like the brim is white. Uh, let's do it. Red. Candy cane, we would do every other stripe, so. dark. Let's add a little bit of dimension to this hat. Dark on this side, dark on this side. Oops, I went out of the lines. Okay, and the candy cane, let's do dark on the two sides. need to do. I don't even need to blend it. It looks pretty good. Then I'm going to die cut those out and I'll be right back. Well, let's show you what they look like first close up. See they're not a very neat coloring but you could do it neater. Okay I'm back. I think I'm gonna bring the color loose blender in here. See if I can push this out of the line in a little bit. We don't really want it out there. Color blend, color lifter. It's gold. Okay. All right. Let's bring in our elephant and decorate him. So a little hat will go on the elephant. Oh. It would be cute on them. I'm going to go ahead and use what I originally used. I don't love that hat. 
These are just stickers you can get at Michael's or Joann's or Dollar Store. The Recollections brand. So, okay, and this is I've got foam here. So basically, what it did was stuck the foam in the paper like that. So it's sticking there. It's actually between the ears. And then you can stick the package in his on his nose. The package. Or do we want to put the candy cane there? I like the difference in color with this, but you could stick whichever one you want on there. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with what I originally did, and again, it's just some hollies that I cut out of some paper. And I just put a little bit of glue on the back and glued that on the tip here. So it looks like he's holding it from the back. Okay. Push this down just a little bit. And there's our elephant. Here's the one we just did together. And here's the one I did previously. Well, thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope you can find a little time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper. I just realized I forgot to put the elephant's tail on. That's what this piece is. And I decided to go ahead and put that little hat on and the candy cane after all. It's kind of cute. The tail just gets adhered over on the one side, like that. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.